An athlete in any sport, and golf is no exception, is under intense pressure to win at all costs. The kind of pressure that can break a person. So when that pressure gives way to triumph, it's an emotional moment, leading to raw and unpredictable celebrations. In this video, we'll be getting into our top 10 golf celebrations, and some of these are a real roller coaster of emotions. Let's get into it. Number 10 is Adam Scott at the 2013 Masters. Recency bias might might be slightly at play here, though to be honest, I think we in the sports world often do the opposite and glamorize history over the present a little more often than we maybe should. Either way, Adam Scott's celebration after sinking his putt to win the 2013 Masters is a fine way to start any such list, because of the redemption story it told. It came less than a year after he lost a four-shot lead at the 2012 British Open. The importance of the win after this long wait was pretty obvious and came right after watching Angel Cabrera miss a very similar putt on their second playoff hole. Scott sunk the 12-footer with precision, raised his arms to the sky, and let out a shout that was barely audible among the screaming patrons of the 10th green. In his 10th year as a pro golfer, finally, he was a champ. For number 9, we've got Larry Mize at the 1987 Masters. This one was a big underdog story. Absolutely nobody expected Larry Mize to take this tournament. In his lengthy career, this was his one and only ever major win, and while he is still active today, at 64 years of age, it's fair to say his peak is long since behind him, as he's never gotten back to these heights since the 80s. But boy, did he make things count when he beat Greg Norman, of all people, in a playoff, sinking one of the most amazing chips in the history of major championship golf in the process. After a nearly 140-foot birdie on the par 4, naturally he lost it, screaming to the heavens and jogging around the course with a stunned look. But being the sportsman, he managed to regain his composure and ask the spirited crowd to quiet down to give Norman a shot at prolonging the playoff. The stunned Norman missed, and as such, Larry Mize got himself a green jacket. Number 8 belongs to Tiger Woods at the 2008 US Open. I'm sure it comes as no surprise to you that Tiger Woods will be appearing on this list a few times. While he is generally known for rather understated fist pumps on a number of occasions, we've seen much bigger displays of emotion from one of the greatest to ever play the game. On this day, he came in with a banged up knee and a daunting 18-hole playoff in front of him, but he powered through until he squared up with a 15-foot birdie putt, which would force a playoff with friend Rocco Mediate. Woods, playing with a torn ligament and a stress fracture in his left leg, nevertheless hit a beautiful putt that broke just to the left and into the hole. The resulting double fist pump and solid high five from the caddy Steve Williams was appropriate given that the resulting playoff saw him win his final US Open to date, and the last major he'd win in general before the 2019 Masters came around. At 7 is Bubba Watson at the 2012 Masters. This one wasn't an exuberant and boisterous celebration like many of the others on this list, but nonetheless an incredibly emotional one. Watson's life was something of a whirlwind at the time. He had recently become a father, just as he'd also lost his own father to cancer. And now, here he was, faced with a career-defining shot. Shooting from the trees on the par 4 10th, the resulting two-putt for par managed to best Louis Usthusen on the second playoff hole, and that was enough to earn Bubba Watson his first ever green jacket. The ensuing celebration saw him embrace his caddy, and then of course, his mother, as tears of joy poured down his face. Ah, Sorry, got something in my eye for a moment there. He was already a popular figure due to his easygoing personality, but this moment really cemented him in the hearts and minds of golf enthusiasts everywhere. Now for number six, Hale Irwin at the 1990 US Open. Irwin is another one who became a fan favorite with his celebration, as this win and the resulting jog around the green ended up becoming the signature moment of his career. Playing on a bunched up Sunday several groups ahead of the leaders, Irwin closed an unforgettable final round, with one of the wildest putts you'll ever see. 45 feet uphill, then downhill and left breaking, and somehow it actually found the bottom of the hole. Swiftly after this, Irwin trekked around the green high-fiving fans in a celebration unlike anything seen before in championship golf. Later, he'd find that he earned a Monday playoff with Mike Donald, and the resulting win saw him become the oldest ever US Open winner at 45 years old. For 
For number 5, none other than Phil Mickelson at the 2004 Masters. Another all-time great here, it took longer than anyone thought it would for Phil Mickelson to finally celebrate a major victory. The moment arrived at the 72nd hole back at the 2004 Masters, where he sank a massive birdie putt to seize his first of many major championships. The resulting celebration was inelegant, to say the least. He was squatting down watching his putt when he saw it sink, and from there he rose up with his arms above his head only to come back down, nearly tripping on his backside. But we won't dock points for that, just goes to show how raw that moment really was. And really, it was pure Mickelson. Number 4 is Tiger Woods at the 2005 Masters. Just as it can't be a surprise to see Tiger Woods repeated on the list, it can't be a shock that we're mentioning the Masters so frequently. The reactions of the winners help show that to them it's the most prestigious event in sports, and this one was no no exception, as the shot on the 16th green in the final round here was amazing, even for Tiger. He chipped in off the green for birdie on a par 3. Everyone watched him with bated breath, as time seemed to stand still with the ball hanging on the edge of the cup before falling in. Rather than the usual calm fist bump, this time, Tiger pumped both fists and let out an uncharacteristic roar. He was excited, and for good reason. It was one of the most defining moments in Masters history. And and right back to Tiger Woods, this time at the 2006 British Open for number 3. On 10 occasions, Earl Woods saw his son Tiger celebrate a major victory. The 2006 British Open was the first such major that Tiger claimed after saying his final goodbyes to him two months earlier, and there saw a display similar to Bubba Watson's earlier on the list. After he tapped in on the 72nd green for a well-earned victory, he raised his hands ever so briefly for a tiny fist bump before his true emotions sprang forth like a geyser. He fell into a lengthy hug with his caddy Steve Williams, and then wife Ellen, as the waterworks were uncontrollable for him, and undoubtedly many more watching around the world. It was a vulnerable side of a legend that we seldom got to see, and a special moment for sure. The number two spot belongs to Payne Stewart at the 1999 US Open. Appreciate what you have when you have it, because you never know what's around the corner. That's the message that we can take away from Payne Stewart's remarkable reaction to winning the 1999 US Open. There, he had to drain a 20-foot bender to reach par and avoid a playoff with Phil Mickelson. He pulled it off to get his second US Open title, and as he sank the putt, he raised a fist to the air as he lunged towards the hole. Later, he would be seen embracing a dejected Mickelson, who was himself a day away from becoming a dad. Three months later, Stewart was caught in a tragic plane crash that took his life and robbed the world of a loving husband and father as well as a beloved golf champion. It adds a special poignance to know that he managed his career-defining win just before fate took him off this mortal coil. Appreciate the present, everyone. And our number one is a group effort belonging to the US Ryder Cup team at the 1999 Ryder Cup. This was like something out of a sports movie. The team was totally down and out, trailing four points when they entered the final day of the 99 Ryder Cup. There seemed to be no hope of a win, but when Justin Leonard sank an immaculate 45-foot putt on the 17th hole, in his bout with Jose Maria Olazabal, the raucous celebration was such that it stirred controversy. All of Leonard's teammates and some of their wives flooded the green to celebrate his accomplishment, which was wonderful except for the fact that the game wasn't over yet. Olazabal's birdie putt would have sent things to an 18th, and after he missed, the European team was understandably pretty upset. But to be fair, the Americans shouldn't have even had a chance going in, so the Ryder Cup team did deserve to pat themselves on the back for sure. And that is all the time we have for today's video. Did we miss any of your favorite golf celebrations? What other celebrations in sports stick out in your mind? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.